Uh, hi, I'm Kat Bigger. I'm the section editor for the arts and culture section of the Emerald, which is our student-run newspaper here at SHC. And today I'm joined by Grace and Mr. Morris. Uh, thank you both for being here. Of course. Uh, for doing this interview. Um, so first question that I have about the 1984 production is how did you decide to um, do 1984 as this year's play? Yeah, so I think at a time where we're seeing this manipulation of government and people, um, this play could not be more relevant. Even though it was written before 1984, we're still playing it off in kind of a futuristic kind of timeline. Um, so I think it's just very relevant to what we're currently going through in our time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, do you have a response as well? Uh, yeah, I totally agree. Like, with everything going on in our world, it's important to, you know, how these plays from the past still connect to what's going on today and like with the crucible that we did in sophomore year that also has like the same themes and it's really awesome to be able to portray these themes to a stage for the first time in like a year. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And along those lines, are there any specific ways that you're planning on um, sort of tying in current events or current trends into um, this year's production? Yeah, I think it actually works really well because of w with the masks that we have to wear indoors, I think it really does work to the silencing of the people and, and whatnot. And I think we're going to find even more ways as we continue to get into those rehearsals because we just started audition process, which mm -hmm. will wrap today with callbacks. So I think we'll find even more of those ways as we mm -hmm. continue the rehearsal process. Yeah. Excellent, yeah. And um, I, I think one last question I have here is, how will this year's production be different from previous years? Ah, that's a great question. I think this year, I think from auditions already, we've seen of the 50 people who auditioned, 40% of those were freshmen, which was really, really exciting. Um, so we're getting a lot of new uh, talent into the show as well. Um, how do you think it's gonna be different? Um, it's just like I said, like it's been a year since we've been able to perform on stage and see people on stage, so it'll be really awesome to see new faces and see old uh, returning people come back um, and see how they do on stage and being able to perform this show for the first time in a year. Right. Yeah. yeah. What are some of your hopes for this year's production? Um, I really hope to tap into the, the deeper meaning of what the story is. I know Mr. Knapp has, teaches us in his class, so some people already know about the story, which is great, but we're gonna pull from his knowledge as well. So it's gonna be a collaboration between us and the English department um, and all of our students. So I am just really hope everyone comes out to see it. Great, yeah. So those are the questions I have for today. Thank you for answering those. Those are very helpful and insightful. Um, and for the Emeralds and SHG Live, this is Kat Bigger. Uh, Grace Medecki. And Mr. Morris. Thank you.